Ukrainian soldier Mikhail Odianov is among the fortunate ones. In contrast with some of his fellow prisoners of war, he survived Russian captivity. This is how Russia adheres to the Geneva Conventions. This is how Russia continues the shameful legacy of Nazism. It was stated by the Defense Ministry of Ukraine in a Twitter post on September 23 this year. Mikhail Odianov is a Ukrainian soldier who survived Russian captivity. He was detained after fighting to defend the Azovstal steelworks in Mariupol earlier this year. Mikhailo is one of the 205 Ukrainian prisoners of war released on Wednesday night, 21st of September. This is the picture of him flashing the peace sign that went viral on social media back in May. His arm was pinned together here after being injured during the Russian siege of the industrial site in the port. But despite him looking tired and unshaven, he was still in a reasonable physical condition. Sadly, in one of the latest photos, Mikhailo appears very weak and covered in scars and bruises. As a result of the Battle of Mariupol, Mikhailo and the rest of the group of the Azov military unit that he was captured with spent four months in Russian prison camps. Kremlin-allied hardliners had demanded their execution claiming they were Nazis and war criminals. However, as a result of the prisoner swap between Ukraine and Russia, 10 foreigners and 205 prisoners from Mariupol and the Azovstal steel plant were exchanged directly, while Vladimir Putin's ally and oligarch Viktor Medvedchuk and other 55 Russian prisoners were returned. Upon Mikhailo's release last week, he was pictured with friends and family in a Chernihiv hospital. Currently, he is at Kiev Military Hospital, where he remains in a serious condition and will require long-term treatment, according to his sister Alena Lavrushko. Ms. Lavrushko said that the shrapnel in her brother's arm was pulled out with a rusty pair of pliers and without anesthetic or anything else. Because of this and the inhumane conditions that Mikhailo faced in Russian captivity, his arm is missing 4 centimeters of bone now. His sister also added that the doctor said that they cannot operate on him just yet. He needs to gain some weight first and gain strength. It could be dangerous for his health as his physical condition is still serious. However, Ms. Lavrushko said that Mikhailo is mentally very strong. He is extremely happy that he is back. Mikhailo says, with a smile on his face, I am walking and breathing clean, free air.